In this tutorial, we're going to look at the make2d command in Rhino. So let's go ahead and uh, create a solid box. And I'm going to go ahead and make two more boxes that are a little bit smaller than the first box. And just rotate those around. I'm going to Boolean these out of the, the larger box. So just kind of rotate them at different angles and make sure they intersect each other to make this a little more interesting. Great, and so I'll go ahead and select two of the boxes and Boolean two objects and then you can just iterate by clicking through, hit enter when you're done, and now I'll hit those two, same thing. Great, so I have this box with two other boxes carved out of it. So um, let's say I want to make a two-dimensional drawing from a particular view. You can do this from the perspective view, you can do it from any of the saved views that you set up. Um, in this case, why don't we do a set view and let's use an isometric view. So yep, that looks great. And to make 2D, all you have to do is select the object and type in make 2D. But before you do that, let's go to the tools option uh, menu and you want to go into the units which are up here. Now one thing with Make2D that you want to test, sometimes it works fine just default, but other times um, you'll lose lines that otherwise should be there. Um, or other times it gives you too many lines. So um, depending on the complexity of the project, you might want to reduce this absolute tolerance. I tend to use 0 0.01. Uh, 0 0.001 might work for you, but just um, make sure you test that if you're getting results that you're not happy with. All right, I'll say OK. Um, now I can type in make 2D and then it's going to ask you what the view is. This is an isometric so it's a parallel view. You could also choose a different view from there if you want to um, and you're going to do it from the view. You can also do it from clipping pane, planes which is really great or construction planes um, and then you can decide if you want to show the hidden lines. So those are the lines that you wouldn't see uh, they're kind of hidden behind this surface, for example, and it will show those as dashed lines. You can also do the silhouette of the object. I like to use both of those, so the silhouette will be the outline here. And that's just a really nice feature for when you make nice line drawings. And that looks good to me, so I'm going to go ahead and say OK. It'll automatically make these layers. And it takes a little bit of time, and there it goes. So let's go ahead and select this object, and I'm going to type in hide just to hide it. We can then go to our top view, and that is the two-dimensional drawing of that view. If I go to my layers now, you'll see it automatically made a few layers for me. It made a layer called Make2D. Of course, you can always change these names if you want. This is the visible um, layer and then the hidden layer. So if I turn off the hidden layer, you're only going to see what was visible within that view. Um, what's also nice is you do have the silhouette. So if you're bringing this into a program like Illustrator, um, for a diagram, it's always nice to have the silhouette as a darker line than all the other lines. Um, so you can turn that off, and then this is the, the curves that you can actually see, and then these are the curves that are hidden. So if I were bringing this into Illustrator, I would make all of these dashed lines with a light line weight, and then your curves would be the solid lines with a medium line weight, and the silhouette would be a solid line with a darker line weight. Um, you could also bring this into Illustrator and live paint, add some color into some of this or some textures um, if you want. 